Tree Life by Paul Perry. Text by Paul Perry, illustrations by Lucas Alves de Lima. Far away in an enchanted forest, there is a tree that many nuts call home. This is Henry. He is a peanut. Henry lives in a giant peanut shell on Peanut Road. Do you see a peanut shell house? How many can you see? This is Henry's room. It has drawings and pictures on the wall. Henry likes to draw. Do you like to draw? Henry likes to go for walks and visit the other nuts that live in the tree. Can you see some peanut shell houses? These are Henry's friends, Benny and Albert. Albert is a snail and Benny is a lightning bug. Albert also lives in the tree. He has a hard shell and crawls very slowly. Benny can fly very fast. He has two wings and a belly that can glow. What color are his stripes? Today, Henry and his friends are on an adventure to the top of the tree. They want to visit Mrs. Hazel and bring her a special treat. What will it be? Chapter 2 Mr. Walnut This is Mr. Walnut. He lives in a hollow walnut shell on Walnut Grove. Mr. Walnut works in a library. There are a lot of books on the wall. Nuts love books. Do you like books? How can I help you today? asks Mr. Walnut. We want to bring Mrs. Hazel a butterfly book, says Henry. Mrs. Hazel? She's the oldest nut in the tree. She's 168 years old, says Mr. Walnut. Wow, that's old, says Albert. Here it is. Wonderflies says Mr. Walnut. Cool, shouts Henry. Bye, Mr. Walnut, say Benny and Albert. We'll bring you an elf pie, says Henry. Henry and his friends continue to Mrs. Hazel's house, but first they have to pass through Bumblebee Branch and be very careful. This way, shouts Henry. Chapter 3, Bumblebee Branch. Bumblebee Branch is very dangerous. Henry and his friends stop to think of a way to pass through Bumblebee Branch. Albert looks scared. Bumblebees like to scare the tree nuts with their dark purple wings and loud buzzing. They also have pointy stingers that can pierce a nut's shell. Oh no! Oh no! Run away! Bumblebees live in tree caves and like planning ways to knock the nuts out of the tree. How many bumblebees do you see? And what do you think they're eating? I have a plan, says Henry. Henry pulls a skateboard out of his backpack. What is that for? asks Albert. Albert, get on the skateboard and I will roll you across the branch, says Henry. Ben, shine your light if you see a bumblebee. Please, begs Albert. Henry pushes Albert as Ben watches out for the buzzing bumblebee. Do you see a bumblebee? A bumblebee sees them rolling across the branch. It flies towards them very fast. Its wings buzz very loudly. Bzzz. Benny shines his light to warn his friends. Benny's light blinds the bumblebee. It loses control and gets stuck in the tree. Henry holds on real tight as they zoom past Bumblebee Branch safely. This is cool, says Henry. Chapter 4, Mushroom Marsh Henry and his friends are tired from running. I'm thirsty, says Albert. Me too, says Benny. Let's get something to drink at Mushroom Marsh, says Henry. Let's not forget Mr. Walnut's pie, says Benny. This is Mushroom Marsh on Mushroom Branch. It is damp and scattered with mushrooms of all sizes and colors. How many mushrooms do you see? These are the Mushroom Elves. The Mushroom Elves love the rain. Do you like the rain? How many Mushroom Elves do you see? Henry and his friends arrive to an elf's house. Albert looks very tired. Does Benny look tired? A mushroom elf opens the door. Ole, the elf says. Ole, replies Henry. 
Albert and Benny say hello. Can I have a pie for Mr. Walnut and some elf water for my friends? asks Henry. Henry gives the elf a piece of peanut mint gum. The elves make delicious pies. How many pies do you see? Chapter 5 Mrs. Hazel's House Henry, Benny, and Albert feel better after drinking some water and resting. They can now continue on their way to Mrs. Hazel's house. She has a lovely, colorful garden. There are ladybugs and butterflies in her garden, too. Can you see them? Mrs. Hazel sees them walking up the top of the tree. She smiles and waves. She is very happy to see them. Oh, look, children. Hello, hello. Hi, Mrs. Hazel, Henry says. Hi, madam, say Benny and Albert. Hello, children. What a lovely surprise. Look, Mrs. Hazel, we have a surprise for you, Henry says. Oh, is it my birthday again? Mrs. Hazel asks. Henry gives Mrs. Hazel a butterfly book. She looks very happy. Oh, wonderflies! How beautiful! Let's go inside. I'll make some tea, she says. Henry and his friends sit at the table as Mrs. Hazel prepares some tea. Benny! Put the elf pie on the table so we can have it with our tea, Mrs. Hazel says. Oh, no, says Henry. She wants to eat Mr. Walnut's pie. I don't want to pass through Bumblebee Branch again, says Albert. Oh, no, they all shout. The end. Thank you for